It's one color Karen book time again. I feel like I'm dressed like I'm going to a party. I'm not, just one of like the three blue things I own. But anyway, it's highly requested. It is Blue's turn. Also, thank you to Shopify for sponsoring this video. Hey people, it's Temi if you're new here. Y'all thought I forgot about you with my gouache this, gouache that, gouache this, but I'm here. Personally, I'm not the biggest fan of blue, but y'all have begged and pleaded. I'm using the M's drawing coloring book as usual. Hopefully it lives up to your expectations, but let's pick our blues. I'm going into my massive Ohuhu set as usual. The majority of the blues are in this bottom right quadrant. Oh my gosh, it's not a quadrant. It's split into six, so se sextant? <laughs> anyway. I'm using my swatch to help because some of these caps don't actually match the ink on the paper. Some are giving more purple while some others are leaning more to green. But I think I've got a good selection. Here are all the markers that we'll be playing with today. And they fit perfectly in this old candle. Ultimate satisfying moment, but I'm going into my M drawing coloring book as usual. And here is our lady from last time. I'm going to name her Lavender Lilia. I feel like this name just suits her overall vibe and aura. So thank you so much, Claire D, for the suggestion. And now to pick an illustration for today. As you know, I'm trying to fill this thumbnail page with all of the monochromatic coloring book pages. So I just need something that will fit a blue vibe. And I'm feeling this one in the middle, right? Let's see how that goes. So now I can go a few ways with this blue theme. Should I take it the ice queen roof, the cool toned skin, the light hair, the piercing glaring eyes? Or should I go more of an oceanic route? You know, mixing in a bit of sea and sky. It's like blue can represent so many different things. It can be calming, serene, represent freedom, but it can also be electric and fierce and dramatic. <laughs> Too much blue can give negative, sad, depressing, but a different hue of blue can be elegant, rich, sophisticated. Anyway, Sha, I think it's a good time to try to start exploring what this could actually look like. The first thing I always do is to put a piece of card under the page because the alcohol markers will bleed through. This is probably one of the most nerve-wracking one of these that I've done. Like I mentioned, blue has so many different shades and hues that it can really set an overall mood for the whole illustration. I've started with this cool blue for the skin and I'm adding some shadows. But I'm not loving this. Honestly, I think we're off to a bad start. For the hair, I want to do an ombre kind of thing. So going from darker blue by the roots and going into a lighter blue. So almost like a brown to blonde kind of ombre. I started with the darkest blue and then the lightest blue on the ends. And now I'm using the medium blue to kind of merge the colors together. But I'm so sorry guys, how satisfying do my nails look with all of these markers? It wasn't even planned, I promise you, but I'm here for it. Now coming back to the illustration, I love that this one had a butterfly because I love a blue monarch butterfly and I don't think this is what this is, but it's definitely very cute. For the blue flowers on the page, honestly, there's zero planning and just vibes. At the moment, I'm starting with the same blue I've used for the butterfly, but I just don't know what direction to go in, so I'm gonna do the background. If you've seen any of my other One Color Coloring Book videos, you know I typically go for a light or medium shade for the background, but for this one, I'm really feeling like having a dark background. I think this dark blue will really make it interesting, bring in some great contrast. And honestly, because I'm a bit clueless about how to do the flowers, I guess it gives me some sort of a starting point. Honestly, I feel like I've accidentally made sis look seasick. So I'm going over all of the skin with this kind of turquoise shade. I think the warmth of this blue definitely helps to make her look a little bit more alive. But for the flowers, this big rose or peony, ugh, I don't know my flowers, but that as a dark blue would be quite cute. And for the rest of them, honestly, just dotted one or two colors. I'm not feeling this illustration at the moment. I'll probably make some changes for the actual one. Here is what it's looking like so far. You have to stay tuned to the end to see how it turns out. Now that we've got our thumbnail together, I want to talk to you about a great link and buy tool that I use called Linkpop. As an artist or other creative on multiple platforms, how do you best showcase all of your work, social media services in one place? Well, I've got a great tool that's gonna help you with all of that. Linkpop is an easy to use link and bio tool that lets you send your followers to a collection of your best links. So this can be your website, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever you want people access to, put it in your Linkpop. And as an artist, if you sell your work online using Shopify, Linkpop allows you to add product photos 
photos and shoppable links so people can shop directly from your business while they're browsing social media. I personally love how clean and simple mine looks, but you can customize it to whatever fits your style and brand. I use my link pop link in my Instagram and TikTok bio just to direct everybody to all of my links. And did I say it was free? It is completely free to set up and use. So all you need to do to sign up is to create a free account. Just use my link in the description to sign up today. Thanks once again to Shopify for sponsoring this video. And now for the actual coloring page. And look at all the beauties that I've done in the past. If you wanna catch up on this one color coloring book series, I've got a whole playlist, I'll link it up above. But here is our lady for today. Once again, I'm putting the card to protect Lavender Lilia on the next page. Can't be messing her up by accident. And time to begin. I'm going straight in with the turquoise kind of shade for all of the face and if you're familiar with these videos you know that I don't mess about I just go straight in yes I'm nervous but we just we just got to try it and I'm going in with a slightly darker shade for some of the main shadows and contours around the face if you're new to alcohol markers seeing me going gradually darker might scare you but alcohol markers kind of dry light so you work with it while the ink is wet but it kind of ends up drying light and blends into each other and for the arms i've started with the lighter shade again and then i'm doing the same combo of using the slightly darker shade and also going over some of the edges honestly i'm loving this color for her skin way 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 more that initial seasick blue was absolutely not it <laughs> and i'm glad i came to my senses I'm adding small, small shadow and detail to the neck and clavicle areas. And now I'm going to move on to the hair. Here are the three shades I used on the hair on the thumbnail page. And this time I'm starting with the mid-tone color, leaving space for where I'll blend into the lighter color. But this is looking purple. I don't know how it was blue on the thumbnail and now it's just, maybe with the contrast of this turquoise skin, it's just not giving the blue that I thought it would. So I'm going back in with the turquoise shade. I think that's the real MVP for this coloring page, just to add some strand details and also to bring in a little bit of warmth to the hair. So it doesn't look like sis dyed her hair purple on an all blue page. And now for our butterfly, I'm taking the same turquoise. I'm not trying to mimic any specific butterfly designs. I'm just trying to put small sort of detail and shadowing to complement our girl. And I think the butterfly's cute. I will go in with my white pen for some final details at the end. But now moving on to this flower on her skin. So I had the idea of actually having it almost like a tattoo. Like obviously nobody is going to tattoo their armpit like this. But actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know for some people. Each to their own. I love the way Ems drew the flower to overlap the skin and so I think having it as a tattoo is just an edgy element that you might not expect but I so much love it. And now for the flowers. From the thumbnail page you already know that I don't have any rhyme or reason. Honestly I just want a good amount of tonal values around the page so I'm using some of the same colours at different points of the page just to make the whole thing cohesive. I'm trying to vary the different designs and honestly these are going to be accurate to real flowers because you know I don't know my flowers. Also I've got aphantasia so trying to make up something that may or may not make sense was not easy but I'm not mad at some of these flowers. And now for this big 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 flower it's not even a focal point but it kind of feels like it is because they are three of them. So I started with a mid-tone kind of colour and then it looked a little bit too similar to the flower next to it. So I'm adding a little bit of depth and then I'm going in with the darkest one for big, big contrast. And for this entire stage, I just had to be brave with it because honestly, I had no idea how it would turn out. But I actually love how it turned out, especially for that one at the bottom, right? I just think it was coloured so beautifully, if I say so myself. And for the rest of them, I'm trying to keep in mind that I need some super light flowers so I'm leaving a lot of the whites of the page and if you're familiar with my channel you know that the white pen will come back for the extra highlighted bits but this is a good time for the background so I'm quickly going to washi tape around the page and this is to help me with a clean straight edge but I'm taking a slightly different blue from the one I used on the thumbnail page and again that's why I love the thumbnail page I could just play around with ideas and then decide what I actually want to do but I think this blue works perfectly and yes I'm using the bullet nib side 
clearly I want to sleep here. But it's also given me the vibe of a night sky. And I think that works so much better than if I'd used a light or mid-tone kind of colour for the background. And now that the background is done, time to take my washi tape off. And this washi tape is too sticky. But I love what this colour adds to the background. I even love some of these flowers that I've left white at the moment. It just has amazing contrast with the background and I'm very happy with the colour I chose. Something that ended up happening during the colouring phase that was unintentional but I love is that I kind of just went for cool tone colours in the background. So our lady really stands out, just her and the butterfly that she's literally staring at is you know more warm tone and then she's just in the midst of flowers and you know what I was saying about different blues give you different vibes. She gives me like an oceanic vibe, you know somebody that's one with the water, is this not the colour of the water in the Maldives? And it's almost like she's in this depressing place because the flowers are so cool toned but she sees something else that also has her warmth, which is the butterfly. And you know how a butterfly signifies new beginners? I just had to stop myself there because am I preaching? I am preaching. <laughs> or maybe I'm just reaching. <laughs> but I just love how she stands out in this very full and vibrant illustration. And now for the final bit, I've gone for a mid-tone kind of blue for the leaves. Which again, if you're used to my work, you know that I typically go for the darkest colour. And for the lips, we're just going matte today. It's giving matte lipstick. And for her top, because of the busyness of the illustration, I just want to keep this looking white. So I'm adding small, small detail with two blue greys that I've got. And now it is white pen time, my absolute favorite time of all time, just to bring in the sharpest, sharpest, sharpest highlights to help with the contrast of the overall piece, make everything stand out, look juicy, look gorgeous. That is the purpose of the white pen stage. Completely optional, obviously, but I just love how it elevates the piece. It lets you get some fantastic details, but that is it. Here is our blue lady let me know what we should name her down in the comments i personally had no idea how this will turn out but i am not mad at this i actually think she came out beautiful check out link pop for a great free link and bio tool thank you so so much to my patrons and if you like this video you will love me coloring the purple lady from the start of the video